Okay, lucky you guys today. I decided on this 3054 uh, to go ahead and while I had this apart, I was going to show you how easy it was to either change the inverter or remove the LCD. And it's actually pretty easy. You just start by uh, pulling off the uh, LCD or the, uh, the inverter cable here. And there's uh, three of them. Pull, pull these out. Come on. Easier with two hands. Hold on. Okay. Uh, it's easy if you just get a thumbnail under both sides and then pry up. And to uh, remove the uh, inverter board, you just press this little tab right here. Little tab right there. And you lift up on it. There it is. Boom. And then you slide it out of this clip over here. And it just slides out. And now you have your inverter board out. Right there. It's upside down. And uh, let's see. There's your part number if you're looking for an aftermarket part number for it. Made by NEC. Okay, back to this. All right now, the uh, the uh, inverter uh, hold case or holder is just got tabs on either side, right over here. Okay, to do that, you uh, you stick this in here, and they actually go towards the inside with the screwdriver. And then once you've got that, then you can go ahead and pull this up. It's out of the way. Now for the LCD, uh, you have two tabs here. You press in on these and, and pull up on the board right there. And then the whole thing just comes out. Uh, I really do need two hands to do that. So do it with just a screwdriver without breaking it. Let's see here. There we go. Take this and twist it just slightly so it pops up a little bit. Go. And let me do the other one. I'm, I'm afraid to break it. Okay, stick your screwdriver in here and then grab up under here at the same time and you push up. And don't pull on the ribbon cable. And it comes right out. Ta -da. And obviously the uh, LCD uh, inverter will come out too. And for those of you looking for an aftermarket part number, there it is, right there. There's your part number. So There's your screen, and there's your front. I'm not going to pull the uh, control panel out. Sorry, guys. Uh, I really need to get back on this, but I thought I would just do this real quick. You see how easy it is. But, you know, obviously you have to take the scope part to get to this place, but uh, once you get the motherboard off and everything... Um, it's not too hard uh, to get in here. Okay, after you get them underneath these tabs on the top and the bottom, just, and make sure your cords are, are out of the way, uh, go ahead and just push down. And when they click in, then you got it. Then all you have to do is uh, wrap your, uh, your inverter cable or backlight cables uh, through the little pegs. In and out. I gotta go a little further up. Here we go. Just route them in and out of there. Let me get them in there. It's hard to do it this way. Okay, after you get it routed through there, you press it through this. Lock them in here. Same thing on this side. And you can install your inverter board support right there make sure you get this up out of there and get your uh, inverter cable on top click it down click it down grab your inverter board it under there. oh sorry you gotta hook this one up first just like that and put your inverter board <coughs> underneath this little tab right here and there's a little detent hole you stick it in there grab this out of here 
detent pole and then you click it in with that tab and then you just uh, hook up your inverter connectors for your backlight. <laughs> And they click in. All right. Now you've got your inverter board in, your LCDs back in. Now you can drop your motherboard in.